Hello, my name's Jane Portman and I'm the Deputy Chief Executive of Bournemouth Borough Council. It's important to me personally and the council as a whole that our buildings and services are as accessible and as inclusive as possible. To help us get it right, we asked local disabled people to advise us on access improvements. We commissioned DOT's Disability to arrange an access survey of the Town Hall, which was carried out by people with different impairment types. The survey led to a series of recommendations, most of which we have now implemented. However, one of the key recommendations was to produce this video guide to the Town Hall to help visitors to plan their visit. We hope you find this guide useful, but if there are more ways in which we can improve accessibility, please do let us know, because we realise that enhancing access is more of a journey than a destination. At Access Dorset and Dots Disability, we know access isn't always easy in historic listed buildings, and we thought it would be useful to other disabled people to have a guide to help them plan their visit. So in this short film, we're going to take a look at disabled access to public areas of the Town Hall, and access to the Customer Contact Centre on St Stephen's Road. Let's begin with parking. Disabled visitors to the Town Hall have several parking options, beginning with the accessible parking space at the front of the Town Hall. This space isn't very well suited to wheelchair users because of the slope, which can make it hard for transfers, so we recommend the accessible parking in Braidley Road. From these spaces, it's a short journey to the crossing point at the front of the Town Hall, where the space is more suited to ambulant disabled visitors. To help customers find where they're going, there are visitor maps in front of the building on either side of the turning circle. The maps show the accessible routes. They are easy to read and they feature high contrast colours for visually impaired visitors. Visitors comfortable using steps can find the visitor reception by going through the main doors at the front of the building. For wheelchair users, there is a clearly signposted accessible route. The route will take you on a level access path to a lower level entrance with automatic door. At times when the door is not operating, such as evenings and weekends, there is an intercom present to call a member of staff. Once inside the building, a lift will take you to the entrance level and main reception area. In order to assist those who are hearing impaired, the main reception desk is fitted with an induction loop system. For wheelchair users who want to access public areas of the Town Hall, like the Registrar Office and meeting rooms, a newly installed platform lift will take you up a short flight of stairs to that level, where you will also find accessible toilets. The platform lift is easy to operate and we have also made an instruction video guide for its use. For visitors to the Customer Contact Centre on St Stephen's Road, there is a clearly signed level access route to the right of the reception desk. This route will take you straight to the centre's main entrance. For drivers, there are also two accessible parking spaces outside the front door on St Stephen's Road. The Customer Contact Centre is accessible to all, with automatic doors leading to a multi-level reception desk, which has also been fitted with an induction loop system as have the consultation rooms. In areas not covered by a loop system, there is a portable induction loop available for anyone who requests it. The customer service points and waiting area have been designed with wheelchair users in mind, allowing plenty of space and there is a spacious and modern accessible toilet. The work we have done here at Bournemouth Borough Council is just a start. We hope you find this video guide useful and welcome any feedback that you have so that we can continue to make our services accessible to everyone. <laughs>